Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Wolf Stride. Let's finish out this day. You go ahead and rest up. I'll keep an eye on the kiddo. I don't want this giant piece of junk to be wandering around in the middle of the night. Why do I always gotta act like his father? I'm only 32, you know. Nobody asked for that. I know, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, 59 days later. There we go. One day to the fancy villa. We got a lot of work ahead of us today. I'm still working on the big guy's circuits and such. I could use a hand, though. Leave it to me, dude. I'll talk to the witch, see if she can help us out. Witch? It's our junior mechanic. She's helping me out. The other way around, but yes, you'll meet her soon enough. I'll be looking for your coach robot as well. That's it. Let's roll. Got some news for you. We got a fight scheduled. Great. How much time do we have? A month? Actually, a little less. A few weeks, then. The fight is tomorrow night. You're joking, right? Well, of course not. <laughs> Why would you? Why so soon? It just happened. I'll see what I can do. Let me finish up my business around here. I'll drop by your hangar as soon as I can. You know anything about coaching robots? Sure. You guys are thinking about acquiring one? I can get one for you. Just hold tight. Let me show you some options. Here you go. Engelbrecht models are the best. They're unrivaled. You want a robot that can cook, take care of the house, and learn anything you need it to? Engelbrecht is your brand. Everything about them is exceptional. They're fairly expensive, though. I see. I was looking for something cheaper. You know. Well, we got entourage companions as well, but I can't go any lower than them. Beyond that point, things start to get unreliable at best. Okay, I can't afford a robot that's worth a brand new car. Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. I only work with stuff I really believe in. I won't sell you a faulty robot. In fact, I strongly advise you not to buy one. Very much like their human counterparts, coaching robots are mostly scams or cons. I've seen my share of messed up AIs. Believe me, Asimov would burn it all down. <laughs> I'll give it some thought, but thank you. You're welcome, darling. Anything else I can do for you? Joy knows something. I 
Atari ago. I, I didn't even notice that. The Japanese food. Jesus. I don't even know if Atari is still around. That juice box is out of commission. It was like that when I arrived. Maybe I can fix it. Huh. Maybe I could pay you for that. We're missing old school music around here. Nobody knows how to play that fucking piano. That juice box. Maybe. Huh. We're miss. That juice box. Maybe. Huh. We're missing old school music around. Yo, Charlie Boiler. I heard they're bringing Max to this piss hole. No way, Pete. One of them is an outdated heavy head model. The other one is that freak that killed a guy. No way. Murder machine. Yeah. There might be some blood on this one. I heard the pilot's head blew off, splattering brains everywhere. <laughs> the cockpit was a real mess. My cousin said he was able to catch one of his flying eyeballs right from his seat. No way. Hell yeah. We might even make it on the news if we stick till the end. Imagine us on TV, man. We're gonna be famous. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm thinking about wearing my red sweater. Uh, the one your mom gave me. Yeah, yeah, it really stands out. Sure does. Well, let's hope Murder Machine will strike again. Murder Machine. <laughs> okay. That is not a good publicity. What you looking at? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard of them. They sound very useful. Robots are quite expensive. I don't know if you'll be able to find a cheap one. You're the trigger. Yes, I am. What is it? Something bothering you? No, no, not at all. I, I was just expecting someone more experienced. You wanted an old ass hunter, didn't you? An old fashioned, raccoon hatted, hairy ass bum. Am I right? Uh, uh. No offense taken. But I figured you'd prefer an old timer. I saw your request. I made a profile. Just what you wanted. On the surface. Why go to all these great lengths just to fulfill my request? You're Lionel, the devil of Cincinnati. I just figured, if I'm gonna hunt, might as well go with the best. And also, I know what you're after. What's she talking about? Lullaby. <laughs> that lottery shot. I got more down-to-earth issues to take care of. Do you? Are they even worth it? I got no interest in this fairy tale. Fairy tales don't leave tracks, old man. Neither does Lullaby. Oh, she does. For the ones who know where to look. What are you looking for? Money? Oh, no. I did my homework. I know you despise the kind. Quid? Pro quo. I scratch yours, you scratch mine. I'm after someone too. Interesting. What do you say? We have a deal? If this is going to play by the mechanics of normal anime, uh, more than likely, Double Z is Lullaby. Or Phone Gun. But reality sake, because it's a video game, um, more than likely Lullaby has not been shown yet. No, I'm not touching that piano yet. Okay. Oh, 
Oh boy, Mr. Shade. What for Sure, I'm a coach myself. What do you need? A cheap one. Cheap? Now that's a word I don't like to hear when I'm not buying stuff. Ah, but uh, since it's you, we may find a way around it. Uh, I used to have this one in the catalog. I bought a whole stock of them. It was an entrepreneur thing. Some lady needed investors, and it seemed fairly promising. <laughs> Too bad it flopped like a uh, fish out of water. I got rid of most of them. What I couldn't sell, I dismantled and sold for parts. But there were so many. I think there's still one laying around. I got a flyer somewhere. Let me fetch it for you. Peepoo, the all-purpose D-Bot. Oh my god. What the fuck? Meet Peepoo. The all-purpose robot for all your daily needs. Peepoo can display hologram images for distant calls. Peepoo can talk in any language. Peepoo can do all of your home chores. Peepoo has a seven split part HD for different personality setups. Peepoo plays music to enlighten your day. Peepoo is perfect for taking care of your kids. Peepoo can learn and teach everything through his flush chip. Peepoo? Uh, that's right, son. On second thoughts, I don't know how I got into that. Well, anyway, this guy is cheap. And I bet it could be really useful if you make some minor adjustments to it. Uh, it might be buried somewhere around here, you know. How much? Almost free. A hundred butterflies. Oh, I, I can do that. That's the deal of your life, kid. You're not gonna regret it. Uh, you, uh, you got a shovel? No. Well, I can rent you a shovel. The first one's for free. Dig, and you'll find it for sure. Few hours later. The hell is this? Oh, ding, ding, ding! You found it, son! You gotta be kidding me. This ain't worth shit. Oh, whoa, you'll hurt its feelings, mister. It just needs some slaps here and there, and it'll be working like new. This ain't fair, Hog. Hey, it ain't so bad. I bet it's just some dry dirt. Shake it off and it'll shine like new. This is a piece of shit. All right, all right, can't blame me for trying. Business is business. I'll, I'll give you your money back. You can keep it for free. I don't think I want this. Not even for free? Come on, son, what's got into you? This is just a piece of dirt. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? I don't know, but I don't want this shit popsicle around here either. It kind of kills my vibe. This looks like a ball of turd. I ain't taking it home. Hey! Well, I'm willing to pay you. How much you want to take this trash off of my property? Hey! Smells like dead chicken. I don't want it here. These stupid, useless turds were leaking radiation. That's why the whole shit flopped. And you want me to keep this radioactive piece of trash? Hey! Enough of that, you bunch of peep! I can hear it all. For crap's sake! That atrocious lump of garbage! It's... It, it's alive! Oye, no genial hermano, soy demasiado guapa para ti! What the? Where are my brothers and sisters? My family? My people? Mom, can you hear me? My battery is low. Low. I'm on an all time low. Low. Oyasumi Nasai. Oh! You got Marlene. No, this isn't it. It even speaks Japanese, dude. Let me have a closer look. Don't hug it. Shit's radioactive. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I love it. 
And it's all yours, son. Just a hundred butterflies. So cheap. We're not paying. No, it's not radioactive. Who told you that? Hog. Hog? Oh, he can't tell his own elbow from his ass. Okay. I ain't detecting anything, except for this awful smell. It's like it's dead. Crap, cat man. She just needs some love and grooming, that's all. She? She can be a he as well. She'll decide when she wakes up. I've never seen a robot like this. This is obviously a scam. It is a scam. Then get rid of it. I can get you a true model. You can pay in installments. Nah, we'll keep it, dude. I saw her in action. She's awesome. Is that your pilot? Bullseye. We might be in a deeper hole than I thought. Is she the witch you guys have been talking about? Witch? Well, well. <laughs> Would you care to explain that, killer hound? Oh, I like how she immediately thinks of the dog. Shade's the one who came up with that. I never do that. <sighs> I don't care what you say about me, but do it to my face. Oh, I'm a witch, all right. And you'll see what I'm capable of in the upcoming days. Now, let's get down to business. You gotta fight tomorrow. And double the stupid robots to fix. Okay. Pee poo's her name? Doesn't sound too fitting. Well, it's her choice. I'll give her a good long bath and figure out where that smell is coming from. Uh -oh. I bet she's shiny as a spaceship under this thick crust of dirt and mud. <laughs> Maybe she can teach me Japanese? My Portuguese ain't half bad. Se o fio de puta! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know Portuguese, despite the fact that I probably should, given the fact that I'm mostly Portuguese, but, uh, woo! No. Uh, when I don't. think I've seen it all. Good job, Catman, really good job. Fucking sarcasm. I'm really, really disgusted and insulted by everything you do. That's your job, isn't it? To make my life hell. Um, yeah, it's still six hundred from me. I mean, yeah, that's just a lot better. In, in the demo, you could actually accidentally over repair, and it cost you money. I guess it's this translation thing if, you know... Um, if they're talking about, Oh man, he even knows Japanese! Anyway, it can teach me some! Well, if you're in Japan, I would think you would know the language. Like it's a day to day thing. So every day I need to check every spot, every spot. Oh. Yeah, I will need to check. Okay, good to go. Next day! Woo! It is 9.41. Oh. Uh. 
Seems like the days are growing shorter and shorter. I don't know, this was a long one. By the way, it's your time to take out the trash cat, man. Unfortunately, I'm not talking about that stinky robot. Alright, whatever. Day four. Day of Fancy Boy. Cowboy versus Fancy Boy. It's the boys back in town. God damn it. This is it, folks. Fight night. You got this, dude. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, let's hope everything goes well this time. Don't worry about it, dude. Oh, and by the way, the demo uh, Godworm was like the first guy that he would fight. Let's make the most of our time today and get ready for whatever's coming our way. I'm all fired up. You worked good on it. Yeah, I did it, right? Shining like chrome she is. I couldn't turn her on, though. Seems like her battery circuits have oxidized or something. Got lots of nasty fluid oozing out. Even so, she's looking good. Yeah, I got rid of that smell, too. What was it? Bastard stank like a damn corpse. Oh, it was a corpse. Two, in fact. I don't know how, but a couple of rats managed to slip inside her. Gross, kiddo. No shit. They were hugging each other. A really sad scene. It seemed like they were longtime lovers. Which is entirely possible. Made me feel real sorry for them. But it's all good now. I've flushed them out. <laughs> I love that face. Like, whoa, shit. What about her batteries? The witch is looking into it. Seems like she got some spare parts. It's gonna take a while, though. Can't wait to see Marlene in action. You ready for tonight? Yeah, dude. I'm fine. I'm gonna kick some ass. Careful there. You went through a lot. I know, but, well, I guess that's how a pilot's supposed to live, right? If we really want to do this, we gotta push forward. Just don't bet your life on it. We could always sell this piece of junk. Not gonna happen. Don't sweat it, guys. I got this. Second time's a charm. Third time. I kind of like that Shade is not like the money grubbing asshole. It, it's this dude. Did you talk with Hog? Sure as hell did. Turns out he's a nice fella. We got a lot in common, but uh, I don't trust that man. Huh? For too much alike. He's playing his cards close to his chest, and I ain't showing him my hand so easily. The hell does it all mean? I got a 60-40 deal. That's the fairest I could get. Pretty good numbers, wizard. Hell yeah. Considering he'll take care of everything else regarding the fight, I think we closed a nice deal. <laughs> the text says, yeah, hell. He'll consider it. And he said, hell yeah. So, that's, now, that's interesting. Now, we just gotta take care of the big boy and make sure the kiddo it makes it back alive. That's the plan. Unlike a stereotypical anime, I can't say all, but unlike a stereotypical anime, the main dude of this is like really, really actually, his morals are askew, but he does have, the, have a, a good head on his shoulders. Oh, wow. Okay. A lot of microwaves. Wait. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. That's gonna be a tough one for all of us. Well, let's do our best and hope for it, darling. Anyhow, me and the dog, we already made sure your pilot is coming back from this fight. So you can cross at least this one worry off your list. roots just yet. I know eventually I'll be able to like fly upgrades and shit like that. Uh, 
uh, I'll tell you right now, in the demo, none of this was in it. It was just the fights. So I was really like, eh, it was okay. Yo, Charlie Boiler. I heard there. No one. Yeah, my God. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Murder. Okay. Exact same dialogue as before. Hey, tonight's the night, huh? I'll be waiting for you guys to celebrate your victory. Don't let me down. We won't. And these are, these are straight up very professional voice actors. Although nowadays I'm, I'm a bit wary of Some of them letting it get to their heads. You sure you ain't got any business in town? We could use some extra cash. You know what? Uh, I'll, uh, let's see. Mark gets destroyed, it's 200. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's so. I'm not gonna. Oh, that's so.
didn't have that fuck up in the beginning. I, just, I don't know. I don't remember. If I can make 600, I'll be good for the, the fight. And I will do the fight in this episode. You sure you ain't got any business in town? We could use some. All right, witch time. Oh, seems like you did a great job on the big guy. A killer hound might be somewhat of a pain, but he's a hard worker if I ever saw one. He followed my instructions by the book. I couldn't work on a new engine yet, but we managed to find temporary fixes for everything. Just don't push it too hard. This'll be fine for a couple of weeks only.
crap, Cat Man. My heart's skipping a beat. I know it's all up to the kiddo now, but I'll be damned. I can't believe I'm in a pilot again. I'm hyped, dude. Just make sure to come back in one piece. I'm still working around his schematics, so I'm afraid we won't be able to make any last minute improvements. We did all we could. If you got anything left to fix, now's the time. I, I fixed everything the first time. I fixed everything the first time. All right, folks. Wrap it up. Next stop, Hog's Yard. Let's show them how it's done. Hell yeah, dude. Here we go. Oh, boy, you came. What's with this crowd? Amazing, isn't it? I'm gonna cash in big tonight. Capitalism prospers. Come on, son. Let's get to our seats. This is gonna be good. Follow me. Fancy boy. Fancy Jack. <laughs> it's showtime! Here we go again. Come on, kiddo. Show him what you got. Now that was a good one. Yeah. Throw in cars! That's illegal! You're, uh, lacking some weight in that punch of yours. <laughs> That's not gonna make it! Ouch! My bad! You're playing good! But let's see how you'll deal with this! We may need to reinforce those frames. You don't say. It's all over now. If I take out his head, I might actually be able well, to... Well, that was a good fight, boy.
Who'd have thought my kid would manage a victory, huh? I'm impressed. Hey, don't worry, though. I think we made enough to cover your repair expenses. See you next time. Hey, why the long faces? You did great out there. Yeah, if I, if I take out this... <sighs> it ain't your fault, kid. If anyone is to blame... Shade. Come on. It's not like it's the end of the world, right? Tell you what, drinks are on me. Hey, now we're talking. Thanks, lady. So you're friends with Mr. Rum and Cola. Rum and Cola? Yeah, it's just a stupid game. I'll try to guess your soul drink the first time you come in. He ended up being Rum and Cola. So, what about me? Hmm, beer, right? Oh, damn right, ma'am. Nothing fancy for me, just good old beer. I drink nothing else. Sounds like fun. What about me? Tequila Sunrise? Hmm, unfortunately, I'm missing some ingredients for yours. Come back another time, I'll make your soul drink for sure. Right now, how about a beer? Sure, dude. Now, nah, that turned out to be a good night. I keep wondering what I did wrong, though. So you're a cowboy's pilot. Wait, you're hell yep -o. I'm the one who kicked your ass. Yeah, you're pretty good though. <laughs> I just got the feeling you didn't know shit about me. Oh, yeah. That was the first time I saw your mech. What the? No way, bud. <laughs> you mean you didn't prepare for this fight? No, we didn't. We have time. did prepare for it. Our guy was ready to go, in good condition and all. Took us some time to bring it back to shape. Lots of work. Oh, hey, I ain't saying you guys didn't work. Those your teammates, huh? Hey, <laughs> where's that cool guy, Shade? Yeah, right. The man who made it happen. Thank you so much. I, I know it was a crazy request to fight you guys out of the blue, but yeah, I was desperately in need of a sparring partner. Sparring partner? Yep -o. Yeah, I needed someone to test my build on. You guys were perfect since you're here in Rain City, and uh, there's a lot of footage from your last fight online. You mean you watched her fight? Of course I did. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about when you prepare for a fight. Yeah, how the hell do you guys enter a ring without knowing what you're up against? Yeah, because if I had taken out his head, and the other guy, if I took out his arm... I'm an amateur too, but... <laughs> If I were a pro, boy, I would have totaled you. Totaled? Yeah, you'd be down to scraps by now. Man, you gotta know your game. Good thing I'll be moving in town, so we can be partners. Yeah, we can be rivals. Hey, what do you say? Rivals? yep -o. Like we help each other out, we climb the ranks together, and face each other at the finals. <laughs> it's gonna be epic! Finals? What the hell are you talking about? Our next step. What? Yeah, no, I'm confused too. So, you're in for the ranks as well, huh? Oops. Of course I am! Piloting without a ranking? That's just a hobby! One more for the UGG. Huh? UGG? You didn't tell him? The ultimate golden god! Uh -oh. That's the most anticipated worldwide mech championship the world has ever seen! Yet what makes it so freaking special is the fact that any single pilot in the world can take part in it. It doesn't matter where you came from, your parents' jobs, your social class, they don't even care if you're a full-on criminal. All they care about is your rank. As you climb the worldwide ranks, you'll face ever stronger opponents. You might even get a chance against Queen herself. Not only that, but the winning prize for the UGG is about... 21 million real dollars! Why did you put period in the top? Oh, okay. I guess it's their world that you use periods instead of commas. Uh, commas and it's commas instead of periods. 
What? That's if you get first place, but even third place grabs a bite of this humongous pie. I'm talking about seven million real dollars. What? For third place? yep -o. <laughs> Not too shabby for the third best ranked pilot in the world. But if you want a piece of that pie, first you gotta beat the world's best. I mean, they're the baddest, evilest motherfuckers out there. I mean, psst, their mechs are unlike anything you've ever seen before. Canyon Bolt, a superhero wannabe pilot with billions of fans across the world. Okay. Mad Margo, billionaire, Nobel Prize winner, philanthropist, and TV host. <laughs> Lastly, the undefeated, unmatched, unrivaled, unequaled legend. She doesn't play this game. She owns it. Queen Von Wilhelmy. What do you say? Rivals? Hell yeah, dude. These two, these two are actually made. Freaking amazing! Hey, so what? Let's schedule a rematch then. What? So soon? We won't lose next time. When? The day after tomorrow. You're Who's out it? of your damn mind. Be ready. <laughs> You're all a bunch of crazy sons of bitches, ain't you? Yep. Bring it on, dude. <laughs> fine, fine. Let's see what I can do. I hope you guys do your homework this time. You shouldn't fight what you don't know, unless there's no other option. That is actually a great piece of advice. All right, then. It's a deal. The day after tomorrow. A rematch. Deal. Hey, just one more thing. Let's make it official this time. You're a ranked pilot, ain't you? Am I? Ranked 297. You defeated Godworm, remember? Yeah, <laughs> you just got very lucky if you ask me. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I'm not ranked yet. So, I'd really appreciate a jump start to 297. Game on. <laughs> this is too cool to be true. All right then, <laughs> I got a party waiting for me. Uh, you're welcome if you want to. Thanks, but we got some work to do. <laughs> As you wish. I like it, actually. Uh, well, I see you around, folks. I think he was gonna be one of those asshole types, but no. Sounds interesting. Pretty cool. It's gonna be a wild ride. <sighs> I guess we're not selling that junk ever. That was never the plan, dude. Shade's plan in a nutshell. Hey, I I'll be going home shortly. Let me appreciate this lady's company while I savor this ice cold wonder. Don't worry, Roman Cola. I'll take good care of Mr. Beer. Haha, <laughs> just keep them coming, lady. Because uh, that's, that's a uh, uh, murder machine got murdered tonight. Oh, that heavy head was really awesome, though. Throwing cars like zoom, zoom, bang. Oh, that guy knew his game. Uh, in the end, it really comes down to the pilot, doesn't it? Correct. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much you garnish your stuff if you ain't got the moves. Yeah, but making sure you got the right equipment might help as well. <sighs> I hope we can see more fights like that. Hint, 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 hint. Hell yeah! I feel I want to see Murder Machine making its comeback. Murder Machine! Hint, 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 hint. Jesus. What you? Uh, what are you gonna see? Anything new? You're the trigger. Yeah. No. You want enough uh, on this? What? You're Lionel. 
and also what you do? love it. Do you? I got no interest in this. Very neat. Oh, for the ones. What do you? Oh no. Quid? <laughs> what do you say? Ah, uh, a shame the jukebox is broken. I'd love to pick a song. Hey, dude. I'm still feeling it. The blood rush. I really want to win this. I won't let you guys down next time. There's a nice breeze blowing tonight. It's been a while, Oyabun. Where have you been? Have you found your way yet? Still looking, I guess. Don't rush things. <laughs> I ain't doing shit. I saw a butterfly today. It was trying to fly, but it had no wings. Made me wonder. If I could give that wingless butterfly wings. If I could just give it the biggest fucking wings. <laughs> Where is this coming from? I wish I could make things different for it. Maybe it ain't supposed to fly. How? Oh, it's a fucking butterfly, isn't it? <laughs> Not if it doesn't got any wings. Ain't you talking about a caterpillar? Yes, a butterfly. Even if it crawls for a while, in essence, it is a butterfly. Don't know about that. I guess you just lack the patience to see things for what they really are. Eventually, it's not really. It's just eventually. You know when the butterfly stops flying? The hell do I know about that? When they're close to death, they gently stand still, slowly flapping their wings. It's such a beautiful, sad moment. I hate to be the daughter of information, but that's because their energy supply is running low, and you know, they used up all the calories that they had, and they are literally fading out. What's your point? It's not the time, you fucking brat. <laughs> you still don't know. You don't see the whole picture. All you see is what you were at this moment in time. You're blind and numb to your surroundings. You just don't get what it could be to unfurl wings and sway across the ocean. You don't know what you are. It doesn't make a difference. Still, there's a fucking nice breeze blowing tonight. Woke up late, you bastard. Yeah, I won't blame you for once. I feel like crap. Where's Pineapples? He went to see the witch about this stupid stinking robot. Pineapples is really excited about this shit, isn't he? Crap, I don't know what this kid sees in all those worthless pieces of junk. Huge, small, he loves them all. Robots are cool, wizard. Uh, yeah, whatever. Hey, I'm in need of some stuff. Some milk, beans, eggs, and meat. I heard there's a new convenience store in town. Why don't you go check it out? Also, what the hell are we going to do against Fancy Boy tomorrow? Don't sweat it, wizard. I'm working on something. You better be.
Ain't you an ugly son of a bitch? All right, that is it for this episode. I wanted it to be a long one. Because, oh shit, that was an event. All right, I am looking forward to next week. I will catch you all then. Till then, though, have fun, be safe. Realize the fucking difference between a goddamn caterpillar and a goddamn fucking butterfly. Aloha.